All right, here for round one. I've got my team. We're gonna crush. All right, round number two. We won round one. I beat Jeskai. Cyrus beat Eldrazi Post. We got round two coming up. We got the squad. Well, let's just uh, let's just make sure to do it after the round over. Yeah. Crush. Elves. It's possible. It's a good matchup for you. Yeah, that's like my best matchup, so. One, One of them, yeah. It's uh, nice because they play Forest, but we'll see. Whatever, I don't, I, I tend to, what's nice about my deck is I can keep hands in the blind that are good. Thoughts from Cyrus, Corman, Gil. Hello, friends. Yeah. So, yeah. round two went well. I played my worst matchup in Boros, or Angels, and still won. Uh, Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus crushed. I don't even know what he was playing. It looks like High Tide. Yeah. And then, uh, our modern opponent didn't know what dredge cards did, so uh, yeah, clean sweep. So that was good. Off to round three. Hopefully, we'll uh, keep it going. All right, <clears throat> round three. We were victorious again. I played against Monoreb. Uh, I flooded two games in a row, like nine lands both game. Had experimental frenzy hit land, 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 land. And I was like, okay, well, can't win. Uh, John played against uh, Jun Shadow, which I think that matchup's so-so. Uh, however, I think his opponent like boarded very poorly. He kept in like a lot of removal spells, like Tar Fire, like all these really cards that don't really do much. And yeah, John kind of just rolled them over. But John Mulligan to four and still won, so that was fun. Uh, and then uh, Cyrus played against Elves, which is a good matchup, but he lost game one. Uh, his opponent had the, the turn three. Uh, game two, Cyrus had the turn. I went to go fill up his water bottle. Uh, game two, Cyrus peeled. What was it? He peeled like one of his only outers to win. Yeah. Uh, and then game three, he just had like a uh, the, nut, the yeah the, the turn two kill or something like that. So squeaked it out. Yeah, squeaked it out. So, take six more rounds, and uh, see if we can... One round at a time, man. Yeah, one round, one round at a time, one round at a time. You play along, too. Yeah. So far, so good. Uh, I played a not great matchup so far. My deck has been really nice. I like the build. It's been nice and smooth. Uh, I have never done anything with the Johnny's Pride Mate yet, which is a little awkward. Uh, so far, it's been a 2 2 bear and it died immediately. So, A. Plus. And then, uh, yeah, tournaments. Definitely, obviously, smaller than a GP, but still pretty big. The hall we're in, though, is like very like hot. It's not very good air conditioning, it seems like, and it's like not great. It's in like the, the Westin, I think. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Long tournament ahead. Six more rounds. Hopefully, uh, okay. hopefully undefeated. Right? Easy. All right. Round six in the books. We're six zero. <laughs> Cyrus is six zero. Uh, John, I think, is like five one, four two, uh, something like that. I played some pretty bad matchups, but against red white angels, mono red, like this blue black deck that was literally just like a billion exile removal fells and minus effects, and like sailor of means. Uh, didn't seem. Ah, uh, I feel like if I had a good draw and they don't draw the sweeper, it's probably okay. But like. You do the sweeper every time, so I just got rolled. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting carried for once. Whoops. Uh, yeah, doing well. Let's see, six zero. We are. I guess we're not locked for day two. We have to win one more to lock for day two. So, one more. Team's good. Feels good. John. John's getting the 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 dread. Not playing moto. Shakes out. He's missed a few triggers, but it's okay. Uh, Cyrus is just cleaning house. It's like not even, not even fair, honestly. Played against two elves, which are reasonable matchups, I'd say. 
Uh, our second opponent had a ton of cards for the matchup. He had like all like four Cabal Therapies and Thoughtseize and Scavenging Ooze, which is kind of crazy. Um, we barely squeaked out a win in the last round for him. He was he was the clutch clutch anchor. Yeah, 6-0. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who won as long as it was us. So one more we're D2, three more we 9 -0. So let's get that. We're here. We're here at Lotus of Siam, probably one of the best uh, Thai restaurants in the North America. Come here every time. It is delicious. Uh, we ended up seven and two, went seven zero zero two, which not great. Uh, I think my personal record was X and three. Jonathan, same. Cyrus went X and two. Uh, the last two rounds didn't go super great. Obviously, I lost to I beat Jonathan Job pretty handily. He was playing Drakes, and I just kind of ran him over. Uh, yeah, and then. Uh, what was it? John lost to humans. Uh, game two was like the funniest match I've ever seen. Our humans opponent drew like 12 lands and just never killed us. And we almost milled out, but the last five cards, the last six cards of our deck were both of our, both of our uh, crippling chills to kill them. So we just had to go through our entire deck. He, he also had a turn one Grafter's Cage. Turn, yeah. I had one answer. Yeah, Grafter's Cage was in play the entire game. The entire game from turn one to the final turn. Yeah. Sick Yankee. Yeah. The creeping chills in the bottom five cards. Yeah, the cre all two of the creeping chills were in the bottom five cards of the deck. We're just like, can't do anything. Um, and then he lost game three, unfortunately. It was a, our opponent drew pretty pretty absurdly, and our dredges weren't great. Uh, and then Cyrus lost to Stoneblade or Delver Blade or whatever. Cyrus' opponent played pretty badly, but like Cyrus didn't really do anything. He kept drawing. Was this your natural? Your natural tendrils, so you can't like crack LED, or else you just lose. It was that I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't have an LED. I couldn't. Oh, he didn't have an LED. He just couldn't get. Yeah, he couldn't get Hellbent because he. Yeah. So there's that, and then the last round we played against Tecandio, uh, Miriam, and Tan and Grace. Right? Yeah, yeah, Tan and Grace. Uh, Dredge looked like it was gonna win for sure. Uh, I lost to Candio in three. Game, yeah, he was playing gold, green, black, but it was like heavily skewed to beat my deck, so that was really awkward. Game one, I won just with like playing hyper aggressive, and he didn't. He finally ran out of answers. Game two, he had eight removal spells and plague mare. Uh, that was uh, disastrous. Uh, I also had experimental frenzy and hit four lands off of it in a row for like the second time this this tournament, which is really awkward. And then uh, lost to that. Jonathan was playing against. It's basically, basically blue. Uh, sorry, blue red Arclight Phoenix, but it splashed black for collector brutality. So that looked, that looked sweet. He he was gonna win that. I I feel like it's a good matchup. And then Cyrus lost to some pretty. I think they were okay draws from from Tan and Grace. It's just he just didn't re he didn't have he a clock. He sur yeah he surgical three cards out of his hand. So that was. Almost game over on its own, but he didn't have a clock, so Cyrus had like a whole bunch of time. But he kept drawing discard spells, and it was just like, just nothing you could do. But going seven zero to o uh, seven two is not the best. But in the team tournaments, you can X in three or X in four, possibly to top eight. So there's that option. So if we just X one, we top eight, which would be awesome. Great, uh, pretty, pretty great. I think a lot of the top tables are like so so like not notable really notable players i think we played against the most notable players in the tournament outside of like in the later rounds so having them as tiebreakers is always nice yep. but uh now we're here like i said at lotus of siam uh waiting for our food the place is packed it's also beautiful if you've never been in vegas i would 100 percent suggest going i've gone every year i come here multiple times sometimes but uh yeah hopefully tomorrow goes well we'll uh i guess see you for round one made it just for me man <laughs> just for me anyways uh round 10 uh we won played again i played mono red i think i was gonna win uh 
my opponent, my teammates were too fast winning. Uh, Suck it. Yeah. So uh, what was it? I played against Mono Red. Lost game one. Uh, no, won game one. Game two, Mulligan to five, got demolished. Uh, game three, he was stuck on two lands, and I had Aurelia in play and venerated Loxodon and a removal spell in my hand. So. I was fairly certain I was going to win that game, but I mean, obviously we never know. John took down Spirits, and surprisingly enough, Cyrus took out Mono Red Prison because his opponent like didn't even. He never chalice on game two or three, did he? So, Mono Red Prison. He never chalice on game two or three, right? Yeah, he just kept. Oh, okay, fair. He just had a billion Tormod scripts, and then he just like just natural them ad nauseum. So that was sick. Five more, easy. All right, uh, round 11? 11. Uh, victory again. Uh, I took down Golgari. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it didn't seem like he had, like game one was just a blowout. His hand had two Carnage Tyrants in it after he showed me two Carnage Tyrants. I was just like, oh yeah, that's not a card. Uh, and then game two, he just kind of had like a whatever draw and I had a very nice draw, so that was sick. And then John took down uh, Marty Phoenix. So it's basically like the blue red, uh, not the blue red, it's like the, the mono red Phoenix deck. It plays white for Lingering Souls, black for Collector Brutality, discard spells, and yes, main deck Surgical Extraction. Two of them, and two gut shots. And two gut shots, yeah. This, and one point dead. His list was spicy, very spicy. Uh, and then uh, Cyrus lost to uh, Mono Blue Wizards. So, uh, yeah, Mono Blue Wizards. Patron Wizard was a strong magic card in that matchup, unfortunately. Doesn't matter, got the W. Four more. Easy. All right, round 12. Round 12, uh, got the W. Uh, we got, did we get the W? I think we got the W. Yes. Yeah, we got the W, yeah. Can't even remember my own wins. It was 10-2. Uh, 10-2. I played against Golgari again. Uh, Golgari was the most played deck in the tournament. Uh, I saw it on uh, online. Uh, surprisingly enough, only two white-red aggro made day two. It's kind of surprising. Uh, I beat Golgari. Uh, John beat uh, Scales. Which I think is close. Our opponent had a really, really good draw game two. He had turn one cage and uh, Tormod's crypt, and then uh, luckily we had an ancient grudge to kill uh, kill them both. But uh, he had a really strong draw. If we didn't have the didn't have that, would have been a, a spot, a tough spot. And uh, Cyrus lost to Cyrus lost to lands, unfortunately. But uh, it's all good. It's a pretty good matchup for I think Cyrus, but I think his opponent got crazy, got crazy lucky. But doing good. One more. One more. Yeah. I like calling it. All right. Uh, fortunately, we got to lose. We lost to uh, Sneak and Show. No, we lost to. Uh, lands. lands. Lands, yeah. The Marshall top, top and top Spirits, today, unfortunately. Top John lost to Spirits. This point had really good draws. We had very awkward ones. Oh, but, uh, eh, whatever. We still got uh, two more. And uh, I think if we win one, we should be fine. We have really high tiebreakers, so our losses are only the top two seeds of day one. So, pretty good. One more. We got there. We have uh, round 14. Uh, I beat Golgari again. <laughs> I keep playing against Golgari. I played against Golgari five times, six times. What? Uh, I've only lost to it once, so pretty sick. Uh, beat Golgari and uh, Cyrus beat Green Black Depths. I think it's a pretty good matchup. Uh, opponent had some decent cyborg cards, but we, we got there anyways. John was in game three against uh, the Is It Is It Arc Lake deck. Uh, I think a lot of people. Yeah, the the game he lost was like mobile five, like do nothing. But should hopefully be able to draw next round. Once we have the pair down. Yeah, I was. I didn't. So let's hope for no pair downs. Really? Is that All right. We had to play. So we got the pair down. Four, four, four. Which one? Delve voice or? What do you want? I'm not a Got there. Uh, I'm not a top eight. X and three. We should be 
first seed. So we've never done. I'm It's pretty sick. Yeah. Pretty happy. This is top eight out of Pretty stoked. Yeah. Honestly, it's a long time coming. Finally, top eight something. I heard. Not a GP. Don't get to go to the Pro Tour. I thought I was too dumb to play Storm. Still feels good. Took down. I took down Jessica very easily. Just steamrolled him. And John played against Naya. Naya Titan Shift. Who we didn't see. We didn't see white game one. Game two. We saw the white. And he didn't actually have any rest in pieces or anything like that in his hand. But he did have them in his deck. He was splashing white for rest in peace basically. And Stony Silence. Never do it. And yeah. Everyone has different styles. He, was just, he kept My, uh, slow hands. He kept like balls. Blood Braid really Elf good, uh, and like a bunch really of really weirdo moment. cards. And we had uh, we had solid draws, but. Uh, Bragging about how he beat Redo three times, and then I thought season in the Sanders, beat Redo. Uh, four lands, Lotus Petal Sneak and Show, and then Isaac. All right. Yeah. And then, and then we Isaac are was like, unfortunately oh, against I, I the. Like, we oh, played against okay, them I'm round sure. eleven. They're the blue, yeah, yeah, blue, yeah, the yeah, mono blue okay. wizards then, deck, dude, so dude, that's gonna be tough for Cyrus. Uh, it's Mardu yeah. Phoenix for John, no which land. I think is reasonable. Though okay. he has seven, main deck, he main deck surgicals, awkward, and then I'm against Golgari, which I beat. So, see how it goes. No wait. Top eight match, we got there. Played against Goldari again, the guy we played against in uh, Swiss and beat, and uh, steamrolled him. I got to see his deck list, and his list was not prepared for me. He has one uh, Wild Growth Walker main deck. Uh, the only card I'm worried about is the four fine finality, and I just killed him before he got to six mana. So his no, his four fine finality, uh, like the, the, one cast out, one team is one trophy, the new, like, uh, from, like of the Big Mom Emerald. not much. Amusing. So his three Carnage Tyrants main deck. So oh, yeah, yeah. game one was a steamroll. Game two, Mama Emmy. he so mulled in to six. Oh, kept uh, kept a one lander that had the double Wild Growth right. Walker. Uh, double explore creature. So if he hits the land immediately, plays the Wild Growth, and then goes off from there. Uh, but he missed land twice, so we got way too far ahead, and he finally played it, and it was just too too late. I had the removal spell also, so I beat that, and then uh, John beat uh, Is It Art Like due to some real good mills. Uh, we were dead on board with no dredgers in our graveyard. Just one faithless looting. One faithless looting. No fetchable land. No fetchable lands, because we were at... Two. Uh, two, and we we all we had left is fetches in our deck. Sorry, yeah, shocks in our deck. So we did what was it? Uh, Lo Life from the loam. Get back three lands, including the gemstone. And turn gemstone. Only it's the only land painless. we can actually paint painless because we already had two basic mountains in play. Play it. Flashback the faithless looting in our graveyard. Mill three, which was creeping, creeping chill, <laughs> a dredger, and something else. And then we got to dredge again. Creeping chill, uh, conflagrate, and another uh, another irrelevant spell. We go back up to eight. They have seven power in play. He has no cards in his hand. I'm sorry, he has one card in his hand, but he hasn't played the whole game, and he's dead to the conflagrate because we have eight cards in our hand. So just pass. Hope he bricks. Drew faithless looting. He so <laughs> super redraw. Just just slowly peeled whiff. Slowly peeled whiff. So. John uh, John took out that, which was sick. And then uh, Cyrus had to play Mono Blue Wizards again. Uh, we got we got game one. So we got game one. Game two didn't look good, and then uh, they were in still in game three. And I'm pretty sure he was actually gonna win because he never drew Patron Wizard or like a lot of Curse Catchers, and he made like 14 Goblins on turn, like two or three. So. And then I had LED Cabal Ritual Pit. Top four, baby. Going to Invitational. We're playing against uh, I mean, either... Like, just blocks and by time. Zan no, Saeed's team, which is okay. so-so okay. matchups. Okay. Uh, or we play against some uh, guys from Seattle who we yeah. played against in the Swiss and thoroughly, thoroughly crushed them. But hoping for that. Uh, play against Zan. It's, it is what it is. It's a bad matchup for uh, John. It's... Good for Cora, Cyrus, and for me it's pretty close. It's gonna be green black again, so it depends on how much he has his deck teched okay, out for me. So let's hope for the W, baby. Two more. We won. We won. 
in the finals, baby. We're in the finals. We took down Zan Saeed, Julie, and John, and uh, their third. <sighs> I steamrolled Zan. Game one was just a complete wash. Uh, sorry, game one was a complete wash for me. Like I, I got stuck on two lands with triple history in play, and then um, sorry, hit triple history in my hand. Game two, uh, I just basically killed him on turn four, so <laughs> so that was sweet. And then game five, sorry, game three, he kept a pretty slow hand, but it was all in on Doom Whisper. He had double Doom Whisper, but I had Conclave Tribunal, and he Doom Whispered minus three times to put himself to five if my with my attack i put him to one he was trying to find golden demise it had to be exactly golden demise uh because if he if he uh didn't golden demise if he find finality oh, excuse me <laughs> he's just dead on board uh to uh, a five five sorry not a five five uh yeah five five and then i uh because he, he would have golden demise plus played a blocker so he was dead to removal that way but he uh Looked, looked through six cards, never found it. Drew never found it, so I got there. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, Cyrus beat uh, Green Black. Uh, Green Black lands. No, not lands. Uh, fuck, what's it called? Green Black uh, pfft, Dark Depths. Yeah, Dark Depths. That matchup was pretty good for him. Uh, and then uh, Jonathan was going to game three against Tron. And he got the game, got game lost the game one because his opponent top decked main deck relic game two his opponent had relic turn one again um but we beat it surprisingly uh, and he had ulamog in play and still lost so whew, still game and then it would have gone to gone in game three with uh with uh john on the draw but we got there anyways so finals is us against a team we played against in the swiss we lost to but we got crazy unlucky it's drake uh, drake's for me uh, for uh, Cyrus, it's lands, like actual lands. Jonathan, it's Bant Spirits. So Jonathan's got a pretty close one. I think it's favorite for Spirits, especially considering he has Rest in Peace on the side. I think it's a decent matchup for me outside of him drawing a million Clarions, which is what I lost to. Uh, and then I think it's good for Cyrus. So One away. We won. Oh. Easy. We beat. Uh, who did we beat in the finals? Yeah, I don't know the other two guys. Evan Whitehouse. Evan Whitehouse. It's got the White House, man. Presidential status over here. Anyways, I beat uh, Green White Tokens. Uh, I didn't think the matchup was that great going into it, considering he had March and like just ways to make his creatures bigger with Tristani and stuff like that. But after playing him three matches, I beat him every time. Not very close. So, uh, yeah. Can, can I just say that he came out of nowhere during like round seven, sat down, hey, you want to you wanna jam standard? And he did, and they played like a few games, and little did we know, <laughs> day one, that was going to be the uh, uh, the uh, pre preview of the final. So, great job. Yeah. So he just randomly sat down, I was like, hey, you want to play standard? I'm just like, sure, I guess I'm not doing anything else. And he was just playing Green White Tokens, so I was like, alright, whatever. I, I beat him in a couple games we played, and I was like, alright, whatever, just move along. And then we played him in the finals, and I was like, oh, well, oh. Oh. I mean, I feel good. I, I was winning, so, a deal. Um, yeah, game one, uh, I was at like almost a hundred life or 70 something life. I was getting a lot of life. I had like a billion creatures in play, like two Banalish Marshals, like just going ham. He, he marched the multitude for like eight or, or like nine. Wasn't good. So he had to play against March, a giant, gigantic March. I just have a bigger board than him. The, the matchup is all lords. It's like all about the lords. Like whoever has more lords usually wins. Favorable trades. Or yeah. Flying. Also, I have flying. I have all the flying. I have like, uh, what? Uh, eight flying creatures main deck. Aspirin and Hawk. Bane Slayer Hawk. Yeah, Bane Slayer Hawk, baby. And then uh, post sideboard, I get Aurelia, which was the house like I expected it to be. They have like, I got to look at his sideboard. He has like, f like four outs to it. That's it. And then he has to use those outs to kill like. Lords and stuff like that, but 
yeah, I got there, and then uh, Cyrus won his match, which was a good matchup for him. He's playing against uh, Green Black Depths. John was going to game three. Uh, I was one of them. One, oh, you won. <laughs> I only played one game. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Next time. But yeah. Finally. It's about time. <laughs> Oh, feels good. Feels good. Did you win? I did. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's like number four. Feels good. Feels good. One of the unfortunate things, though, um, the Invitational is the same weekend as GP Portland, which seems... Not great, but uh, so I'm gonna ask if I can uh, defer my transfer, so defer my invite to a different one because I've already, you know, booked my hotel and my ride and all for Portland anyway. So I don't want to muck all of that and muck the people I'm going with. So hopefully they'll let me defer the invite, considering it's, it's three weeks away. Like, uh, uh, like Jonathan has like a, uh, a full-time job, uh, at, like a giant company. Uh, like, how can he take? like four or five days off in three weeks notice like that's not a thing like so like cyrus cyrus works too it's like how is he supposed to take off like all the time like three weeks before that's impossible it's not even three it's less than three weeks before like i'm a bum so whatever I'm, i mean i'd rather just go to i'd rather just go to the easier one but hopefully we can die for it and then uh go to both easy peasy feels good feels good didn't lose day two. Uh, <laughs> I went 9-0. So that helped a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Feels good, finally. <laughs> oh, if you guys haven't seen my profile picture for the Star City Games, it's a good one. We got lots of full pinkies. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We're gonna go get some food, hopefully. It's almost 10, so I'm not sure what's actually open for reasonable food. I'm sure we'll get some. It's Vegas, baby. It's Vegas, baby. Thanks for watching.